Hi, welcome to Darby Medical School. I'm Heather, a second year graduate entering medical student. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm a current CP2 medical student and a former GEM student based here at University of Nottingham's Derby Medical School. So today we're going to show you a little bit around the facilities, let you know what's on offer and how to use them. So right now we are in the foyer. This connects the cafe, the lecture theatres, and upstairs are the clinical skills labs, the anatomy suite, as well as PBL rooms, which we're gonna show you in a bit more detail. So we are on the fifth floor right now, and we are going to go into one of the small group teaching rooms. There are a number of these located on the third and fifth floor. We're gonna explore this one right here. So rooms like this are used as part of your course as well as can be used in your own personal time. So for GEM students, we typically use this room for PBL. For those that don't know what PBL is, is it's when we get a case each week based around what we're learning. We work in groups of uh, nine or even 12 after the pandemic and we go through learning objectives related to this case. It can also be used by the MPTs for personal studying use as well as the GEMS in our free time. You can see that it's equipped with whiteboards so there's loads of space to study. There are computers, there's a huge table which can accommodate up to nine students and the best part is that there are fridges and kettles so you can bring your lunch, have snacks and it's a great place to study all day. So we've now arrived at Derby Medical School's anatomy suite, so if you follow us we'll show you around. So the anatomy suite is complete with four breakout rooms, you usually be working in groups of five to six people and in each room you'll have pro sections and advanced anatomical models so you can explore all the intricacies of the human body. There's also access to IT with large um, TV screens which allow you to look at 3D anatomy animations and also help you to complete your worksheets. So now we've entered into one of the breakout rooms where you'll have your small teaching sessions and you'll have access to both pro sections um, and also to the um, models for um, examination and exploration. There's also a range of textbooks to also help you consolidate your learning and understanding of the anatomy that you're exploring. The good thing about this is that there's also helpful staff around here that are able to um, assist you with any questions that you might have. So the models and pro sections are so helpful in tying in what you learn in anatomy to your more practical um, application of it, such as clinical skills. So for example, here we have the thyroid and a upper limb. Now it, here we can identify um, certain structures such as laryngeal prominence. This links into when you're doing clinical skills and you have to do a thyroid examination, or if you're doing a hand examination. So you can see here how we apply what we learn in anatomy and a more uh, written-based content into application into the medical field. So here we are donning lab coats because we are in the main teaching lab. If you're considering studying medical physiology and therapeutics, this place is going to be really important for you. So in this space, um, you might have lessons that teach you about how to use microscopes, how to use techniques such as pipetting as the students are using today. The clinical skills rooms are the heart of the medical school. This is where students are able to practice their examination technique as well as communication skills. Students will be able to work in small groups with a facilitator present and be able to practice procedures and use equipment that is relevant to the module they are currently covering. This can range from manual blood pressure machines, otoscopes, even prosthetic breasts. This is crucial in succeeding in their OSCEs, which they undertake during their course as well as in their final year. This is also where drop-in sessions are held, where students are able to come in and practice with their fellow peers. So we're now in the lecture theatre at Derby Medical School, which gets used by the graduate entry medical students for the first 18 months of their course, the medical physiology and therapeutic students, and also the foundation um, medicine programme as well use this facility. As you can see, it's got good access to power supplies to plug in your electronic devices during lectures, and um, it's got um, good supply of screens as well to ensure good visibility. 
Okay, so we're currently in the cafe at the Derby Medical School and obviously there's lots of seating areas including some sofas over in the corner and you can buy a selection of drinks and snacks as well. So it's a great place to come in between sort of lectures and um, sort of study sessions. So we're currently in the library, which was positioned between the Royal Derby Hospital and the medical school. It's got a fantastic selection of facilities and resources that can be used by both staff and students um, around the area. So now we're going to have a look at this room, which is dedicated to all the university students. So this room is complete with private study pods as well as computers. So if you want a quiet place to study, this is the perfect place. You can bring your device or use your own. It has easy access to printing and you can access it 24-7. So the library has a selection of bookable rooms, um, including a couple of seminar rooms and this IT room. As you can see in the IT room, there's also a selection of computers that you can use and it's probably quite a good area to book if you want to use it for group project work and things like that. So a new piece of equipment that has been installed in Derby Library um, is this lap safe which allows you to loan laptops if you haven't got your own device available. Um, it's quite a straightforward process where you can just scan your card and then it will actually release a laptop that you can then use to access all of the fantastic electronic resources available. So in the IT suite, you have access to an abundance of computers, so you can access all your um, electronic resources, work away, and it's again a nice quiet space to study. So we've just come down to the main foyer and we are now in the Lincoln corridor between the medical school and the hospital. So this is the student services, which we'll show you a bit later, but we're going to go down to what is known as the West Block and show you some private study areas as well as places for students to relax. So we've just entered the student study area in the West Block and as you can see there's lots of comfortable seating, good selection of computers for IT access and some study booths as well or where you can just relax with friends. There's also a selection of study rooms that you can book and there's a range of seminar rooms and study areas throughout this West Block. So this is the main computer room in the medical school. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is a place where you can use computers. It's also used for some teaching. And yeah, it's just a great place to do any electronic work. And due to the vast number of computers, you can come here with a group and do group work. Okay, so we're back on the link corridor now. And in front of me is the medical school. To the right of me is student services. We've just come out of the West Block and then behind us is the link into the Royal Derby Hospital. So the advantages are that obviously being attached to a hospital, you're around the clinical environment, you can hear the sounds of ambulances and it's quite inspiring to know that one day you're going to be working in that environment. You've also got accesses to cafes and shops within the hospital as well that you can utilise. And when it comes to clinical placement, if your clinical placement is based at Derby, you've already got a little bit of familiarity with where you're going and that also helps um, make you feel more comfortable when you go on to clinical placement. So we've just turned off the Lincoln corridor from the medical school and the hospital and now we are at the entrance of student services as well as the students union room which we'll show you in a bit more detail now. So being a medical student doesn't just mean studying 24-7, it's really important to relax and take time for yourself and your friends and this space is perfect for that. You can see there's loads of seating areas, there's even a piano if you're musical and I know guys it's all about the food, don't worry. So right through there there are kitchen facilities including a microwave so you can heat up your food and you don't need to compromise on that. And when I was based at Derby Medical School, this area got used for social events pre-COVID and one of them even included some puppies coming in for us to kind of play with and relax just in, ahead of those important exams. So here we have student services. This is the place to go to if you have any course related issues, including your timetable, ID, or if you just need help to get pointed in the right direction. There's also a phone in there if you want to ring anyone on main campus if you've got any other queries that student services here aren't able to deal with. If you choose to live in Nottingham, you don't need to worry about transportation costs. The Hopper Bus is a free bus that runs between the Royal Derby Hospital and several spots located within the University of Nottingham's campus. Thank you so much for coming on this tour with us. We hope that you found it useful. 
If you have any further questions, you can hop over to the website and we hope you've enjoyed the tour and we look forward to meeting you at Derby Medical School. Bye.